Hey guys, it's your girl Dior Adore, and if you don't know by now, you're a local hater. But anyways, today's video is going to be a video about how I take care of my mental health and some of the things I do to romanticize my life. We're gonna get um, straight into the video. I also like to go outside and get some fresh air because I was told that trees absorb energy and I just like the feeling of the sun hitting my skin and just getting some fresh air and clearing my mind of anything that's on my mind. Taking a bubble bath also helps with my mental health when I take a bubble bath, I feel like it just refreshes or resets my mood and just puts me in a good space. Cleaning up your space can help with your mental health. I feel your space is an extension to you I feel like when my home is clean, I can have a more clear thought process. My mind doesn't feel less cluttered and I have room to think. Sometimes life can have us running in loops and you don't have the time to look up and stop to appreciate the small things that we do have. I learned to appreciate the small things in my home, like just the simple fact having a home. Some people don't have a home. I appreciate the hot water, even having clean water to drink. Like some people don't have those things. And those are some things that we can appreciate, having light in our home. There's many things, small things that we can appreciate about our home or even about ourselves. Being present in the small things in life and learning to appreciate them can allow room for more positive things to come into place in your life. Also, I'm learning to get out of my head and back into my body, learning to make everything feel like a moment of peace or comfort to my liking and acceptance, and you can do the same. I like to listen to different podcasts because it gives me a sense of enlightenment and it has very informational advice that we can use in everyday life. Um, now I'm going to watch a podcast. I watch a couple of podcasts. Um, I'm going to name a few just in case if you guys want to watch them yourselves. Um, I watch Poor Minds. I watch Lip Service. Um, I watch don't call me white girl and i also watch videos about financial literacy like how to be financially liter illiterate and stuff like that correct me if i said it wrong financially 
illiterate financial literacy. But. And this goes into the next topic that I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about like your social media persona being different from real life mm -hmm. in a good way, but also in a bad way. Yeah, it's so crazy. I meet so many people all the time and like, you'll see them on social media, you'll see how they are on social media, and you meet them in real life and they're the complete opposite. And I think that shit is so fucking strange. Because people literally <laughs> live a whole like different life. fantasy mm -hmm. life yeah. on social media. And then in real life, they're nothing like that. And they not really living like that. It's people who be looking like they having their way. In real life, they ain't having their way. Oh, yeah. Like, the shit is just crazy. That's tough. I, you know what? And now, uh, ooh, she said, what? But no, I do like to watch these videos. Like, they give me a little motivation and stuff, like little advice too. So I do like to watch these in the morning and stuff like that. So now I'm making my detox tea. I do like to detox sometimes because my body likes to let me know when I need to detox. Like I just get this yucky feeling about my body. So I do detox once or twice a month so that my body can release all those toxins and bad stuff in my body that I've consumed. Like liquor or food that's not healthy and ET stuff like that. So I just like to detox that out. And here, I'm just moving my body and scratching my body out. I'm not really doing a workout. I'm just moving my muscles and stuff so they won't be tight or tense or anything like that before bed. So moving my body and like scratching does puts me in a good mental space. It makes me feel good about my body and my health. For affordable birth control. Remember the pillclub.com slash four months. Okay, you didn't y'all out now. I feel so rude. Do you guys smoke? Girl, just light that shit up. I don't. Have you ever? We let And this will be the end of this video. And let me know if you guys want a part two of this video. Bye, guys. See you in the next video.